What's up guys, Brent here with TheDroidDemos.com. Uh, gonna show you guys an app right now that I have really loved lately. Uh, a lot of you might have heard it uh, before, some of you might have not, um, but it's getting fairly popular. It's been out for a little while, but I just had a chance to really start using it. It's called AirDroid, and it allows you to wirelessly manage your phone uh, from your computer. So. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys, uh, so not really explain it before, but just go ahead and jump into showing it to you. Here is the icon for the app. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, here's the opening screen. Uh, this is the connection screen to connect it to your computer. I'm going to start out with what it has right within the app uh, rather than the connection. So if you just scroll right over to the right side, um, here we have some things that you can manage right on the device. So this first one, device, this is going to allow you to look at all of the different stats for your device, so how much space you have internally on the SD card, battery life, uh, the current CPU um, processes, uh, your RAM. You can go ahead and clear that RAM right now if you want to with that button. Uh, then we can go over here, we can browse all the apps we, can, we have. Just by going through here, we can easily delete them. If we click on them, we can look at the details for them, run them, uninstall them, share them with a friend if we want to do that. Going back to this screen, if we go ahead and click here, we can basically just use this as a file manager. So I can go into, say, my pictures, and I can look at these pictures if I want. I can delete them. If I click and hold, I can go ahead and cut, copy, paste. Uh, share, whatever I want. Um, basic file manager functionality. No, nothing too extreme, but if you want, don't want multiple apps, you can use this as your f uh, basic file manager. Here we have tasks, so we can look at everything that's currently running. It takes a few seconds to load, but it should come up here. As you can see up here, we have the free memory and then the current CPU usage. Here we go. It shows the uh, all the different current apps running ordered by the amount of memory they're taking so I can go ahead and end those if I want I can just click that all and then stop or select individually which ones I want to manage if we click here we can easily get to network settings um, not really too useful but if you happen to be in the app and you need to change something that's an easy way to get to it got a rate button there data counter is going to show you how much data you've used since you've installed the app uh, and then we got a couple more things here. Over here we have some apps that they have built in recommended, but nothing too uh, crazy right there. Uh, and then we have the settings button up here. Um, we can here we can set uh, a passcode if we want to use a passcode to connect to the phone when we um, connect to the computer. Uh, got port number and uh, auto start things down here. Um, just basic settings for the app. But the real main thing that we have for this is the computer connectivity. So here it says step one and step two. First is to connect to this uh, URL and then enter this code or uh, scan the passcode. So if you go ahead and look on what I've got on the desktop, I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. So it says go to web.airdroid.com. So here I am at web.airdroid. I'm going to go ahead and take the phone. Just go ahead and click this uh, camera button right here and then I can just go over to the computer and scan that passcode. There we go. As you can see, it says success connecting right there, and it pulls up everything on my phone right on the uh, web page that I have right here. So as you can see, it basically turns your browser into a desktop functioning version of your phone. So it's not going to directly show you what's on your screen, but allows you to manage what's on your device in kind of an easy desktop uh, environment. So as you can see over here, we have a bunch of different things. I can look at my messages just by looking in here, go through messages, I can refresh, I can send a new message, so that's really easy. Just type in my contacts, it automatically recognizes everyone that's on my phone, or I can go ahead and click that contacts button right there um, to scroll through my whole list of contacts. Uh, and this is basically like a desktop. I can move everything around. I can have multiple windows open if I want. Um, but yeah, there's messages. I can look at my call logs. Uh, just like on the app, I can look through my apps. I can delete things. I can download download them onto my computer if I want to do that. I can easily install apps. So if you've 
say you have an uh, AT&T phone that doesn't let you to sideload apps, this is a, a way that you can get past that, I believe. Um, but it's an easy way if you have, uh, say you downloaded an app from XDA and you want to easily install it, or say you downloaded some beta app. You can easily just click this install app button, browse to it on your computer, and wirelessly install it to your device. So there's our apps, there's the uh, contacts, uh, contacts uh, icon right here, so I can browse through those. Uh, just like on the app, I also have the files. can look at frequent, frequent contacts, so I can easily uh, just click on, click on one of those to send them a message or something like that. I can browse through the photos that I have on the device, so that's pretty cool. I can manage all of those, do searches, whatever, delete, upload, anything I want. Um, here's a screenshot functionality, so if I'm, say I'm making a tutorial or something like that, or I just want to, uh, I'm troubleshooting someone, something, or I want to send a picture of something on, on my device to someone, just go ahead and click that screenshot button. It's going to load up whatever's on your screen and uh, you can go ahead and just click this camera button and it'll take a picture. Um, you have to, this isn't live updating, you have to refresh it every time you change something on the phone, but uh, yeah, so that should work out for you for screenshots. Uh, we can browse through the music that we have. I can, again, I can download or upload things right here. Uh, again, we have this recommend app right here that's in the app on the phone. Can easily get to the ringtones and videos, and then of course we have a uh, help button right here. Here we have a little notes thing that I can use to paste, put things on the clipboard. Uh, and then here is an easy way to send uh, URLs to the device. So say I'm, I've got it connected at home uh, in the morning, I'm leaving for work, I want to quickly send something that I want to look at on the device, I can just type that URL in, say I want to go to the New York Times, just type in newyorktimes.com, hit enter, and as you can see on the device, it automatically opens up the browser and navigates to that URL that you sent to the device. And then lastly, or not lastly, I've got a couple more things, but as you can see, this last thing on the desktop is the details, so I can look at how much space there is on the device. By clicking on detail, it gives me a more detailed view of what's on the device from contacts, messages, apps, music, and more. And then down here, we can see it on a little colored scale that shows uh, what I have for music and videos and things like that. And then at the top, you see something pretty cool right here. I can search for apps on the Play Store. All I have to do is search it, and it'll automatically open up a new tab that shows you, uh, does that search on the Play Store, so you can easily find apps there and install them. I also have a few more functionalities to the right. You can do multiple desktops. As you can see here, we can ha look at different things. Say this one has weather, uh, so you can keep things on different screens if that's something that you want to do. Going back to this one, I can also uh, easily send a message with this right here. With this, I can easily install apps just like I showed you from uh, this right here, but we have a button up here. Um, then uploads, which is probably one of the things that you'll use the most. And then here's the show desktop icon. So going into this, this is uh, probably one of the things that you'll use the most or one of the main reasons that people get this app. So. Uh, the, one of the things that I use it for is transfer, transferring ROMs. So whenever I want to switch a ROM, it's an easy way to, to put the ROM onto the device uh, without having to worry about connecting the device, uh, transferring it via FTP. All I got to do is drag it right over here, transfer, transfers it to the device, and I'm set. Um, it's Again, it's drag and drop, except for folders. With folders, you have to go ahead and select the folder. Um, but I can browse through whatever I want over here, manage these files on the device, and do whatever I need to do. So really, really, really cool app, and it's free. You don't have to pay anything to use this, and it's got incredible functionality. You can do all of these things, manage your phone from your desktop without even taking it out of your pocket except to connect it. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite apps right now. I'm using it a lot. Uh, and I think you will too. Just give it a try. Again, it's called AirDroid, A-I-R-D-R-O-I-D. I'll have that link for the download below. All you got to do is install it, uh, scan the barcode, 
Again, this is Air, Air Droid. I'm Brent with thedroiddemos.com. Be sure to subscribe so you can get all my future videos. Go ahead and like me on Facebook and Twitter. Those links are below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.